Victoria, we're feeling great. I mean, we've we've been here for the like you said the last few months, and uh, we've seen such a strong progression. And now we have hundreds of people at the town halls. Um, I think at the same time, you know, children can really help. Um, I'm surprised that the Romney boys haven't been out there more because I think they could help humanize their dad. You know, someone I think he's had a tough time connecting. And I think a lot of people are curious to see what's going on and, and we're very honest in everything that we say and I think people are, are really attracted to that. I think our focus right now is New Hampshire and we're seeing a lot of good news coming out of New Hampshire. We're connecting with the people, we're getting to know them. You know, the one thing I've noticed is if they don't embrace it, it's because they just don't know him. You know, they don't know what he represents and they haven't had a chance to sit and talk to him. And every time that he does that with someone, it's very rare that I, I see someone walk away saying, eh, I'm not interested or I don't agree with them. Our relationship with China is so important. And I think our dad brings something to the table that none of the other, other candidates do. And that's just an experience on the world stage. And that's kind of what we're trying to, to send in our message as well. Look, I mean, we're really doing this for a very serious reason. We're doing this um, to introduce our dad to America. He, he always stands up for his country. He believes country first no matter what. That's why my brothers are so serving in the Navy. That's why he served another administration. He served Reagan. He served Bush. You know, someone like Governor Romney who's been around, I mean, the neighboring state for probably over 15 years now campaigning. I mean, it's to go from zero percent to now, you know, knocking on second place here. I think that's a story in and of itself.